going on guys this is david welcome back to the channel stock talk with david uh how are you guys doing out there uh remember like share subscribe hit that notification bell i would really appreciate it uh as always i am not a financial advisor the information shared here is for informational and entertainment purposes only uh so look guys it's been a while um been a while since I made my last video, a few months now. Uh, just, you know, life life happens. You have other things that's going on that kind of um, takes up time. So, uh, you know, that's how I go. But, you know, I apologize for that. And we are back and I'll do my best to try to be more um, consistent with the material uh, that's being put out. Uh, but I am active on Twitter. Uh, definitely, you know, with the stocks and, you know, talking things like that. So definitely follow me on Twitter. I'll leave that, um, that link, uh, the information, uh, you know, in the description. So, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, let's get right to it. So how are you guys portfolio doing? Uh, we know that the market has been down, uh, for quite some time now, pretty much this whole year. Um, you know, we can call it maybe a stock stock market reset. We can, you know, it's recession talks, it's uh, inflation talks. It's you know, you have a geopolitical situation going on right now, uh, which may or may not have some effect on oil prices, gas prices. So just a lot of things going on, uh, you know, in the market right now. Uh, so you know, of course, a lot of people are kind of weary, uh, but you know, it's just. It's just how it goes sometimes. Um, you know, so uh, for me, I think it's giving me a chance to review my portfolio and, you know, kind of reorganize some things, uh, which, you know, everybody should do. You know, you should take time to, you know, review your portfolio often, actually, uh, and reorganize when necessary. I think, you know, <clears throat> this time uh, is definitely, you know, necessary. Uh, you know, back in 2008, you had, a situation where the Dow was in the team, I mean, not even in the team, in the single digits. Uh, that was a chance to kind of, you know, reorganize, you, you know, uh, put, put together a plan for the future 2020. You know, the Dow dropped back down to 18, 19,000 at the end of the pandemic. That's a, a chance to reorganize, kind of review your portfolio. And now we have, you know, definitely some pullback. But at the end of the day, the Dow's still over. Um, 31k it did drop less than 30k for for a short period of time but it's back over 31k i don't know if you know we don't know if it's going to go back lower higher we don't know uh you know that's that remains to be seen and if you just look at the dow year to date you see that the dow is down 15 percent uh you know this year so far and you're going to see that that trend across the board with the s p being down Let's see, S&P being down year to date, um, 20%. And of course, NASDAQ has probably been hit the hardest, you know, over this hit. Quite a bit of a hit uh, in 2022. Now, as you see, 29%. So that's just uh, the nature of the business right now. So, uh, so for my portfolio, I still have my growth stocks. I still have Amazon, Apple, Google. Um, Microsoft, you know, you know, Amazon just recently had a stock split back in June. Google has a stock split coming up this month in July. Um, Shopify just recently split 10 to one. Uh, so I did add some um, Shopify to my portfolio. So I feel pretty strong about my growth stocks for the next five to 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't have any issues with those. This is a buy and hold uh, for me and you know add when necessary um but what i do want to focus on uh with my portfolio and you know may make a recommendation for you guys is is passive income right passive income money coming into your account every month without you doing anything i think that's uh, i've talked about dividend stocks previously um income stocks previously but you know i am really locking in on my passive income 
because uh, there are some physicians out there that do offer some um, pretty good returns monthly, quarterly, and, and so forth. So, you know, the next few videos you'll see from me is going to focus on that passive income. Uh, for June, um, I had a passive income of $275 in the portfolio, right? So I thought that was pretty good. You know, I have a goal by the end of the year to, to get about $500 a month in passive income. That's the goal for the end of 2022. And that's going to continuously increase through um, dividend reinvesting and my regular contributions that I make uh, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and so forth. So I'm attacking this pretty aggressively. So, uh, you know, I saw, the, saw the, the benefits of that in June. And I'm expecting even more uh, in July and throughout the end of the year, uh, whether or not the market goes up or down. Uh, I expect my passive income to be pretty strong by the end of the year. So, uh, and I'm gonna talk about um, briefly uh, four cover call ETFs that's kind of jump started my passive income journey, right? So um, these four positions along with some other ETFs and some other stocks that I have, which I'll discuss in some later videos, is really jump start jump starting me and my portfolio in the right direction. So I'm gonna give these to you and 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 I want you to do some research on your own to see if this may uh, be a good fit for you or you can drop some uh, information in the comments to uh, you know maybe some other recommendations of that. So let's talk about these four briefly ticker symbols USOI cover call ETF centered around um, oil. Let's pull it up real quick. Um, um, last month, crude oil shares cover call um, trading around $5.26. Uh, but definitely check that out. I have quite a few shares now that I've built up over the last month or so. And I received a pretty good dividend last month. And hopefully once they announce their uh, percentage for this month, that would increase even this month. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, USOI. And let's take a look at RYLD. Also, you know, got paid monthly. This is a monthly return as well. And you see a cover call uh, ETF that follows the Russell Index. RYLD. So just write that down. Make excuse me. Write that down. Do a little research on RYLD. Next one. QYLD. And I'm gonna be attacking these pretty aggressively in the next few months. QYLD, RYLD, um, to get get that monthly income up. But it did pretty good for me in the month of June. We have our, uh, I'm sorry, this is QYLD, which is a cover call ETF that tracks the NASDAQ. And with these, you know, I'm not expecting um, like a lot of growth, right? So I mentioned earlier about some of the growth stocks that I do have where I feel like my growth is going to come from. Um, but the income is going to come from. The, some of these particular positions that I have, I actually think they're at pretty good prices right now. Not to say that they can't drop any further, but uh, I like that they're I like their prices right now. Uh, so even though I may be down on the price per share, that income along with the dividend reinvestment, it's, it's going to average out, and I feel like I'm going to be in the positive uh, over time. So I'm not worried about the prices right now or what I bought it at that uh, because I'm, I'm going to be buying for quite some time. So that's gonna take care of itself uh, over time. So that's the least of my worry. And then you have um, XYLD, which is a cover call ETF that covers, uh, it follows the S&P 500. So uh, USOI, RYLD, XYLD, and QYLD. Uh, these four positions have kind of jump-started my passive income um, portfolio. So uh, like I said, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying you should purchase these, uh, positions, but I think it's something to look into. Uh, if you have a goal as if I do, 
uh, of building up your passive income. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments, any suggestions, any positive, negatives about these. Uh, like I said, they're not, um, I'm not looking for a lot of growth, even though over time I do expect some growth as the market rebounds, uh, but I'm definitely, uh, they're, you know, they've already added a, a pretty good bump to my passive income. And I'll be talking about these more in later videos along with some other uh, positions that I have as well that's going to be paying me quarterly, monthly uh, to increase my passive income. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me over on Twitter. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty active over there. So um, yeah, just check me out and I will talk to you guys later.